For more exciting offers, download the Sushruta app from Play Store or App Store today. Hi moms. Today we are back on Child and You for a special session with a pediatric ophthalmologist Dr. Deepak Garg, a very close friend and a colleague of mine with tremendous amount of experience in kids eyes. I am Dr. Nihar Parekh and today we are going to embark on a special journey that deals with your kids eyes. When to get his first eye checkup done? What are the common problems? How do I know my kid has numbers? We are going to tackle these issues one by one so you are a smarter and a happier mom. Every mother wants a perfect looking child, a child that would look into her eyes and smile and giggle with lovely colors of the eye. They get very disturbed at a, if at a very young age they catch that one eye is looking here and the other eye is looking there. This is technically called a squint where the baby's both the eyes are not aligned. There are many misunderstandings about squint. So I would like to emphasize on certain questions for Dr. Deepa Garg today who is our pediatric ophthalmologist. A. What is squint? B. Till what age? Is it normal to have a squint? What kinds of squints are there and what is the commonest treatment for squint? So Nihar, squint's not only a cosmetic problem. Uh, what happens is we all human beings have something called as binocular vision. Binocular vision is the ability to see one object with two eyes and still see only one object. So we are seeing two images of the object in front of you, but we are still seeing one object. Even eagles, for example, have binocular vision. Binocular vision gives us what we know as depth perception. If you have a squint, you don't have binocular vision and you have lost depth perception. Therefore, treating squint is not only a cosmetic correction, it's also to improve quality of vision. Coming to squints per se, squints can happen at any age. Um, many times, as Dr. Nihar mentioned, we have parents walking in with their newborn because people at home and they themselves think that their child has a squint. And what I would like to tell parents of newborns is to not worry about a squint for a child, for a newborn, not worry about a squint in a six month old or an eight month old because usually these squints can go away. Uh, the eyes are in a state of flux. They're not really fixed yet. So the first six months we don't really go ahead and do anything for a squint that we may see. Of course children can be born with squints and need treatment soon but that treatment we do not do before six months of age. The earliest we operate on a squint could be 10, 11 or 12 months of age. Uh, and then of course we can operate much later depending on the type of squint. So there are squints that we start seeing at let's say 5 years of age, but we decide to operate that squint at 10, 11 or 12 years of age depending on the severity of that squint. Uh, people have a misconception about treating the squint early. Some people believe we should wait till much later and treat the squint. I don't think we should analyze squints based on early treatment or late treatment. Each squint has a correct time to treat that squint. That correct time could be at one year of age or at five years of age or even at 25 years of age. But we do not focus on treating the squint as soon as we see the squint. It depends on the type of squint that the child has. Most important uh, to remember here is to make sure that you have seen an ophthalmologist if you're seeing a squint to make sure that the child does not develop a lazy eye because of that squint. That is more important than the squint treatment because the squint can be corrected later and a lazy eye cannot. You know technically um, squints can be divided into various uh, types. Some squints go inwards, some squints go outwards. I don't think we need to get into the technical details of squint, but what we should know is that squints can be treated. Uh, 
some squints are treated by glasses and just by wearing glasses the parents stop seeing the squint the quality of the vision of the child also improves however majority of squints are treated by surgery nothing in medicine is 100% uh, unfortunately squint surgeries too are not 100% however the results today are very very good and with one or sometimes two surgeries we do achieve extremely satisfactory results for patients who are very happy after their surgeries because now uh, two things can happen after surgery one is their quality of vision improves and of course cosmetically they start looking much much different uh, than what they were looking earlier tune into our channel child and you for tips and guidance to raise a healthy child live now live healthy only with shushruta for any queries you can write into us on or whatsapp us on 9780242